Florida has a lot of real natural beauty and a lot of wonderful people, but there are a lot of bad boys here too. And that's where we come in. I'm John Walsh. And tonight we're gonna try something different. Cops in America's Most Wanted are teaming up. And for the next half hour, I'm gonna ride with the cops crew and the Jacksonville Sheriff's Department. And after that, America's Most Wanted is going to try to solve some of Jacksonville's toughest cases. You know, from up here, Jacksonville is really beautiful. But down on the ground, sometimes it's a very different story. We're gonna go out and chase the bad boys. Hey, 374, 10 to Brentwood with the brown jersey on. Hey, 374. We were just uh, flagged down at 715 in reference to a 23 to an individual that just occurred. We're 10 12 with him. He's taking us back around to, I believe, the Parkview end to see if we can find the suspect. He walked up and said he was just robbed oh boy. across the street here, and he just saw where the guy went. Really? So he's in the car that's ahead of us, and he's going to point him out if he sees him. Okay. So we're just kind of looking around. We'd be for lucky him. to see this guy, and the guy was obviously on foot. Robbed yeah, him. right. Right? Did he say what? Gunpoint, knife point? He didn't say, and we, we were in such a hurry to just grab the guy. Right. He's up here on the uh, right hand side. 10-4. Here he is right here. Oh, boy. So we're going to snag him up real quick. Okay. All right, we're going to take him down at gunpoint. So. Okay. Okay. Stay right there. Stay right there. Stop. Turn around. Face the fence. Turn around. Face the fence. Turn around and face the fence. Keep your hands up. Go down on your knees. Go down on your knees. Go down on your knees all the way. Push back against the, away from the fence and go face down. Get on your face. Go all the way down. Get all the way proned out. There you go. Push yourself away from the fence some. Back towards me. Keep pushing. Back towards me. Keep pushing. Keep pushing back. Okay, now lay down flat just like you were. Put your hands straight out. Straight out like they were. Palms up. Look, look right where you're looking. Palms up. Palms up. He had a magazine in his hand, but I didn't know if he had a gun in it or what. How you doing? Good. How you doing? Good to meet you. Nice I watch your show you. all the time. Thank you. And uh, he went like this here, man. I just, I did like this. He went in my pocket, grabbed one five dollar bill and five, one five dollar bill and five ones. And he took off. Just okay. running? He took off running. Okay. All right. That was it. Okay. okay. Right here. Oh, that, oh, that dude, that five five one. He wanted some um, cocaine with that, man. Okay. To the, to the sheriff's that was station. What you just threw across the fence? Well, that what you just threw he the wanted some uh, cocaine across some right there. He wanted some, um, he told me he wanted some cocaine and all. I was talking about cocaine. He jacked me up, man. He grabbed me and jacked me up. Okay. Right? How did he jack you up? What, did he, he have a knife me. or gun or what? He said he had a gun. Just talk to me. Don't worry about him. He grabbed me. He grabbed me. He jacked me up. That's good. Just up. show me. Don't, don't said, do it on me. give him. me your money. Give me your money right now. He said, I got a gun. I went to grab him. That I got a, a little small knife, right? Can we secure him in a cage car real quick? Yeah. I'm going to get somebody here. Yeah, he says that he took a five and five ones, looks like you said. Yeah. And, said he, and he said he had this so, magazine. So you're telling me you sold drugs to him? That's what he done. We was in the room. And, uh, now, wait a minute. Before you say anything, let me okay. get you over here. Let me read you your rights. I'm under arrest? Well, not yet, but oh, I want to read okay. you your rights before you go talking and saying everything you want to say. got to get in the car? Yeah, you got to have a seat. Did you guys pat him down already? Yeah. No, no, you can hear this. But I can tell you what just happened. Okay, I'm telling you right now, don't say nothing until I read you your rights. Right. You but say I'm anything gonna... before that, it's your choice. Okay. I don't have to lie about that, though. Okay, just have a seat here real quick. He's saying the other guy's story is, you know, kind of right. fitting with the magazine right. and all. Right. But, I don't know, to me, something just doesn't seem right. This one's saying they were in a hotel room together, smoking crack, and something went wrong, and somebody took somebody's money. And he's saying he can take us right to the room. So I'm going to do some digging. Right. Go get a rights card, read him his rights. But I'm going to do some digging and see and if I can figure out. And this guy, on. there is some wadded up dollar bills that he must have thrown over the there, There's yeah. probably drugs, drugs inside in of them part, sometimes. Right. That, yeah, right. they keep them inside. Right. So we'll see if we can straighten out what right. the whole so thing. So you got two conflicting stories. Yeah, yeah, and it may not actually be a robbery. Right, right. right. It may be just somebody pissed off at somebody Right, else, exactly. Right? And this something happens all the time, right? It's a get even. You did it. I did it. I'm you want to get what he, uh, Russ, you want to jump over there? That's what he, what was it he tossed? Is there any 73 in it? I don't know. We don't know. I didn't want to mess with it all the time. He, I saw him throw it out of his right hand, though, as we pulled up. All right, well, I'm going to open it up and look, because 
ones. Probably five and five ones. Yeah. There's the five. Now, I haven't read them. There's the five ones. Yep. He's saying that, you know, they were in this hotel room, had some crack together, something went wrong, this guy's mad. Something, so he's saying that he robbed him. So I'm going to read him his rights. So it's he said, he said. Right, right. Um, just for information, though, the reason we have the two plainclothes officers here, and they were here as we were pulling up, is because uh, there's been a rash of robberies to individuals right in this area. Hmm, could be. I mean, I'm not saying it's not, but it just yeah. seems strange to me. It's so strange, who knows? but. We'll see. All right. But if they say that, uh, yeah, we know this other fella, but there's nobody else been in here all day long, then that'll back up the yeah. victim's story. Oh, I got you. I, I'm, I, I say again, it's healthy skepticism on your yeah, part. Yeah, it is. Because why just... would a guy who just got arrested for throwing $10 over say, go back to my room, which is full of drugs with two girls? Right, exactly. And I'll prove to you. Hello. How you doing? Hi there. Hi, how are you? Good, thank you. Oh, how you doing? How are you? You get that reaction a lot. Jeez. <laughs> what am I doing here? I'm checking in. <laughs> <laughs> Are you Melody? Come here. Oh, you're Melody. Oh, that's Melody. Oh, wow. Hi. Who are you married to? Gary. Is that his name? All right. Did your husband, did he just leave here a little while ago? Yeah. Is he staying in there with you, all, just you two? Yeah, he was supposed to go get some beer and come back. Perfect. Okay. Okay, that sounds good. What happened was he's fine. He's fine. He's not hurt at all. What happened was he was walking across over here to the street, and it looks like he got robbed. So he flagged us down told us about it. We went riding around the corner, and uh, he pointed out the guy that robbed him, and we just wanted to be sure. got the guy? Yeah. So we, we just caught him. Oh right. God. This guy's gone. I'm on TV. Oh, boy. So we just want to be sure the story's all matched up, yeah. and we want to talk Your to you. Your husband's got the plaid shirt on. Yeah, I just short. went downstairs okay. looking oh, for him. Okay. I said he, yeah, he, he went across to get a couple beers. Yeah, okay. yeah. Okay. He's going to be right back up here in just I a just minute. I just got off work from the airport. Right? OK. We're going to go downstairs, take care of all the paperwork. Okay. As soon as we're done with him, he's OK, though. Yeah, he's fine. make sure you knew he was OK. He was worried about you. Nice to meet you. All right. I believe it. Nice to meet you. And uh, it looks like everything he was saying was the truth. And, you know, I just wanted to be sure. So many people down here, so many robberies to individuals every day, and a lot of times it's, it's drunken arguments or drug arguments. Grudge. That's why, exactly. So that's why we dig so hard to be sure they're telling the truth, because this is a felony. This is a serious crime he's accusing him of. So now that we've checked it out, I feel satisfied that the guy is telling the truth, and we'll charge the suspect with robbery. And uh, send the victim on back up to his wife here unharmed. Thank goodness. Perfect. Yeah. 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 So I think you did a good job.